The opportunities afforded to us by data are huge. So the more that we know about customers, the more we know about their history, how they've uh, transacted business in the past, how they prefer to do business, how, whether they prefer to speak to us, to interact with us online, to come to us via comparison sites, to come to us via uh, our own sites. All of it uh, feeds into the picture that we have of customers, feeds into the price that we offer to customers. We have a highly talented team of uh, analysts, of uh, data professionals, data scientists, uh, traders, uh, all working really, really closely together, working very closely with the teams who design the products, the teams that build the products, the teams that negotiate the net rates with the insurers to make sure that we uh, win in the markets that we operate in. One of the biggest challenges with the team is that if you're not fully in control of everything that's, that's happening, you do have to kind of think outside the box, you do have to step back and figure out what the right way is forward, you then you'll get on the front foot, you'll put the proposal forward to say this is what I think we should do. Within a few days it's out there in the live environment and this work that you've done to suggest what you think is the right way, you put your butt behind it and then you just you put it out in the live environment and hope it works. So not being a cog in the machine, being literally on the front end making those changes. I was tremendously impressed by the skills of the team. Given that I've got a fair amount of experience in the insurance pricing world, I really do feel like our pricing capability is market leading. I really do think there is a new and improved way of trying to price. I have a, a team of commercial uh, analysts who work closely with the statistical team and our role is more focused on aligning uh, those models to business requirements. In terms of who we work with across the business, it, it could say everybody. The analytical skill set that we have within pricing um, is a bit of a rarity across um, IGO and across BGL. And in terms of the impact that we can have on the business, we, we can agree now to make a price change and by this time tomorrow we'll be reviewing the results of it. So it, we have a direct impact on, on the profitability of the company. People who are prepared to take risks, albeit in a calculated way, are exactly the sort of people who, who we're looking for. What we're looking for is people who are highly numerate, so typically they'll have a degree in maths or stats, but they're able to put what they've learnt into practice. Being able to look for opportunities, not just sitting down following the process, but being able to evolve those, having the intuition to look for um, explanations to why things happen. The more successful people will then, off their own back, be looking into the data behind those reports, finding out why things have happened, not just what has happened. And even more successful people will be the ones who can then do something about it. So we're looking for people who are numerate and understand how to translate that into statistical model building. So they've got to be open-minded, creative, want to work as part of that uh, team because that means they'll fit in well to the environment here. We are known to be the, uh, the best in the market, to be the best at what we do do, uh, but we know that we have to work hard to continue to, to have that position as number one at the moment. We're there to be shot at but I'm confident that with the right people uh, and with the right teams and with the right focus, we can continue to stay ahead. We focus upon digital, we focus upon data, we focus upon customers, and we focus upon the value chain to make sure that we are the best organised that we possibly can be. And all of that's possible by working with the best people who we can attract and keep within BGL.